Next step, I took my door panel back off um, so I can put some fiberglass on the inside of the panel. Um, so I went ahead and cut this out where I can get in here and get the edge of the wood where it was fiberglass to. So basically what I'm gonna do here to strengthen this, um, to make it stick to the wood, I'm gonna come in and add fiberglass um, resin and I got chalk mat all the way on the inside and I'm gonna fiberglass it to the wood on the back side all the way around. So that way this is even more sturdy and I get a tighter bond to my wood because in some places you see that gap so that's all going to be filled with resin and chalk mat to this so to create a nice bond so it's super strong so that's what i'm about to do lay down some more glass and let it sit all right it was a little messy but it got it good you see how thick it is in there and I put mat where I could leaving that whole gap down there is filled with resin coming off over the side down in there shove resin all up in there shove mat in there if you can see it's hard to get in there that piece isn't white it's just the color but Got it all in there, all the way around. So, from this side, it don't look the best. I had to use a uh, angle grinder with a cutting wheel to get in there. And then, so that's where, you know, the door sits in there, those things. So I wanted to leave that solid so the panel you know, just to help strengthen it up. But I was able to shove, uh, you know, my paintbrush in there and then shove uh, some mat in there um, and just dab it and fill it up with resin. Whenever this dries, I might actually even tilt it up, um, tilt the panel up and just pour resin down in there so it gets on both sides um, the wood panel and the door panel well I got my first layer of Bondo on I'm gonna let it dry I hate doing Bondo and I suck at it but it's a process one layer at a time I did the first layer of Bondo and I sanded it down. And then what I did is I mixed up uh, a batch of Rondo, which is Bondo and fiberglass resin. And you go ahead and do the hardener for the resin and the Bondo. And it's kind of like a self leveling ordeal. It just makes it a little bit smoother. You still gotta sand it. It is a little harder to sand, but it should be a lot smoother. So right here was just Bondo because I didn't get to it. And then right there is the Rondo. So we'll see with the second layer. Hopefully it'll come in and fill all these little holes without me having to sand it down too much. We'll see. But that's how it's looking. I had to do more on this one because the panel was a lot messed up, more messed up than the other one. So here's the other one. So I'll only have to do a little bit. So this door should go a whole lot smoother, which is good because it's the passenger door that most people are gonna be looking at when they're in the vehicle. So if my driver door isn't the best, on the bottom, you'll never see it. Well, I've done all the Bondo and sanding that I'm gonna do. It ain't perfect, but it's my driver door. 
and see how it turns out. Like I said, this is my first door panel, so we'll see. Got my driver door in last night. It's dark. Don't look too bad. So I did my driver door first throughout the whole process because since these were my first doors, custom doors like this I've ever made, um, if I screw up on the driver's side, it's all right because, you know, I wanted the passenger side to obviously look the best because that's where somebody else is sitting. I don't care if there's, you know, a couple of flaws on my driver's side. Um, so I kind of got some practice doing the driver door and then I did the passenger door. Let me turn you around. So I know it's a little dark in here, but I feel like it came out pretty good. Um, I did the paint scheme kind of the same as my center console. You can see I uh, just am throwing the passenger door on right now. So it's uh, the black and gray and black and gray. I got to repaint this part. Um, and with the extra Bondo work, it did hit up here. See, some of it wasn't perfect, like right there. Looks kind of trashy. But it's all right. Right here on this seam looks pretty good. And of course, going down the side, you know, looks good. I'm not the best at doing finishing work. But it's gonna be loud, I'm telling you. And when I say like it barely fit, it barely fit. Like, <clears throat> I'll show you how close I am. Ugh. Phew. See, that pops out underneath the dash. It's hard to see. I wish I had a flashlight. Here's my flashlight. So, it is close. And this seat lever is actually lower um, than the speaker. That's kind of why I went up at this angle. Don't mind in there, it looks terrible, but that's where my door handle goes in. Um, I did chip it a little bit, getting it in there. But, it'll be all right. So, like I said, it barely clears in here. And on the outside, or on the inside of the door, sorry. That magnet is like stinking close, I'm telling you. Yeah. Anyways, I'll show you the passenger door. See the passenger door? Came out a lot nicer smooth my door is already kind of messed up right there and i couldn't fix it so but it came out pretty good let me show you how close it was grab a spaker because i had to put no neos in the door so look at these things this thing is massive where's, where's my hand Freaking massive speakers. Let me put this in, I'll show you. Boom. Get that. Look at that. Yeah, I can move that wire out of the way, but I'm just showing you how freaking close it is. And the other one is about the same. But you know, I don't have a huge pocket. And like right behind here is my window track. Same right there, and it rolls right there. So I couldn't like cut this open anymore if these wouldn't have fit which uh, you know pretty close all right you know it'll look good sitting here oh man I took my door handle off now I gotta climb over. All right. Well, I'll get back in a little bit. Peace out. Like a dick, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? My feet's above the water. And my feet can't touch the ground. Touch
Sometimes I drift off, praying that I drift back. All money ain't good, remember that. Like so abstract, right through your habitat. It's a struggle every day, gotta roll on. RP to my folks, had a ride home. Well, I got the doors playing, and they sound good. They are loud, to say the least. But they turned out uh, decent. I mean, they'll do. So, not the best. I didn't feel like taking forever. I probably should have wrapped them instead of painted them. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I've seen worse doors. I'll just say that. But, I mean, they work for me. So, we'll see what's next. But, that's what I did. 